Well, hello everyone. Hello, Jacqueline. Oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> good We've to see done you. this for a while. This is Jacqueline Jones. Oh. This is our ageless thrival fitness star and a star in her own right with what she does for uh, not only fitness, but today, and by the way, I'm Catherine Wiley. I think you guys probably know that I'm the founder of the Gain Center, Gain TV. And this uh, this program we're doing today is for Gain TV instead of doing our usual fitness. Um, but she is the founder of her own fitness um, platform um, and her ageless living strategies, which fit in absolutely magnificently with the Ageless Thrival program. And so um, let's just start talking about that. We were just, we had to interrupt and get recording here. And so tell me and tell everyone that's watching about your ageless living strategies because they're fabulous. Well, I'm calling it successful aging strategies. So SAS. I love all, it. We need SAS. a little SAS. We need SAS. <laughs> <laughs> I need SAS. Lots of it. I think we all do on some level. And I think it's just trying to promote a healthy lifestyle, yep. not just within fitness. As you know, there's there's lots more around fitness. So there's the nutritional aspect. Yes. There's the um, the mental health aspect. There yep. is being mindful of all of that. And there's some strategies that you can do that aren't or, or you can partake in the strategies that I recommend um, and they're not that difficult to do. So um, as far as, you know, I can touch on a couple of things, uh, nutritional information would be ditching the white sugar. I mean, white sugar is white death. So I don't even have anything sugar in my house. I do. I might have the odd um, gummy vitamin or something, <laughs> a melatonin that has a, something in it. But I'm really, really careful. I read the labels. And if I'm going to be making anything like a strawberry rhubarb crisp, I'll use brown sugar instead of white sugar. Just have you tried coconut sugar? Coconut sugar is amazing. And it gives that nice little tropical flavor too. So mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. so many alternatives nowadays to, um, to those things, but there's a lot of the population that is unaware of how easy it is to actually switch over and, and we just get caught up in the convenience Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. And it's yeah. and it's important. You know, what was really good about what you're saying is it has to be easy for people yeah. because if it is if it's going to take too much time or too whatever, people have such busy lives that it's like and they're they're in that routine and it's yes. just easier. And so what's really great about what you're doing, and I'm going to talk about just a little bit about ageless thrival because I've got those nine pillars is creating that easy strategy so you can make those changes without yeah. a big hassle, right? It's but just added more stress. Exactly. Yeah. And the same white sugar, white flour, same thing, right? I mean, I haven't used sugar. I don't use dairy anymore. Um, uh, Not dairy. Yeah, I don't use dairy. I use oat. I use oat milk creamer that like my daughter, <laughs> when I had to switch out, I'm moaning and groaning to Jennifer and she goes, oh, mom, I love oat milk creamer. You're going to love it. I'm bringing some out. And I was like, well, why didn't I know about this? Right? Oh, well, yeah. It's little things. It's just I, educating yourself I or know. Educating, helping to educate people, you know? know. And you see this, this, I love this. This is whole earth. We discovered this at Starbucks. It is stevia and monk fruit in these little packages. And yeah, I know there's packaging, but it's all recyclable. I use that in my coffee in the morning. I have two cups of coffee with my oat milk creamer, which creams my coffee, but it's oats. And I have uh, the combination with the monk fruit takes that stevia thing away, right? Yeah. Or I use coconut sugar. So anyway, sorry, I'm carrying on, but I'm so That's excited. Okay. We get excited about stuff like this, the nutrition values. Um, you know, there's also um, the adrenal fatigue. So, you know, I've been working with clients for about 20 years and um, there's 
certain professions, especially having gone through COVID with alongside with doctors and nurses and health professionals, right? they're on um, cortisol overload and, and adrenal fatigue. And, um, you know, then to, to go out for meals, it's just going to add to that. And it's, it, you know, so one of my doctor clients, which I commend her on it, is um, she gets the HelloFresh. So it's made for her, it's brought to her door, it's all oh. fresh. And it, it's it's one of those things that makes her life just that little bit easier. She doesn't have the shopping component. She doesn't wow. have the prep component. And somebody was brilliant and um, has put this together and it's all fairly healthy food, oh. unprocessed food. So it's it's one way of looking at things, you know, making do your they life- do it for single people? Like that might be something yes. I might be interested in, really. Yeah, so HelloFresh, or there's a few different companies that do it. Um, You know, you can say whether you're vegan or whether you're, you know. We should get them to uh, sponsor us on here so that that we've got some revenue. If we just can't say HelloFresh. Hey. (laughs) Well, and then there's uh, the link. (laughs) I know, and the fitness uh, component, but also knowing to ditch the I the diet so I always say ditch the diet because diet the word diet has die in it like as in death diet, yeah, not I diet agree with you. you know about- diets are about, uh, so many diets are not sustainable they're the fad thing and every year I'm going to uh, conferences fitness conferences and I often love to go to the nutritionist um who talks about diets and all these eating plans and it always comes back down to the basics and yeah. that is you have to include everything in your diet there yeah. has to be carbohydrates there has to be proteins and there has to be fats and those things are all essential to staying healthy and your brain needs carbohydrates and i mean i don't go out and eat white refined rice or refined too much refined pasta but i do eat pasta who doesn't right. love pasta I just don't eat it every day and I don't eat copious amounts and you you can get gluten-free pasta the the gluten-free pastas are amazing there's rice there's lentil I've got lentils because I don't have I I don't have celiacs but I've just found that I just take I would say that my diet is like 96 percent gluten-free Right. Yeah. And I mean, you know, my daughter brings me treats, so I'm not going to not do those. And again, that's the other thing, right? Is well, you have that... to enjoy what you eat sometimes too. Exactly. It's <laughs> finding the right nutritional program for you that includes yeah. everything that you need because yeah. food is medicine. Mm-hmm. Right. It's medicine. So yeah. I mean, if we look at the emotion, I mean, we could get in, we could do a whole program on the mental health of emotional addiction of food, right? Because it is. But when you look and think of food as medicine, which is what it is, because it's fuel. Yeah. Then you can start kind of thinking like, okay, what is it that I really need for my particular body, my lifestyle, what it's doing in combination with my exercise program? Um, the other things that are bigger sleep, we got to have enough sleep <laughs> and we yeah. got to have enough water depending upon, you know, Hydrate, your hydrate, 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 hydration. Yeah. Right, so? yeah. So what That's do you, what do you things. think about water? And, and so tell me a little bit about how you work on incorporating that, especially with the fitness routines. Well, I always have at least two liters a day. So I'll have a big jug of water. Yeah. Um, I've been trying to do just a glass jug because I find that the water bottles get bacteria. Uh, they get smelly bacteria, no matter how often you clean them, there's, st- there's still a residue. So yeah, if I'm at home, I find it easier to get that water in because yeah. some people go, you know, I have a few clients. Oh, if I drink so much water, I have to go to the bathroom all the time. Well, your body does start to adjust a little bit. Yes, I go to the bathroom a lot of times in the day, but to me, <laughs> it's worth it because your your skin needs it. Our bodies are eighty percent. Your muscles need it. You I need know. to hydrate. You can't I just no. be de- dehydrated all the time. No. Speaking of which, I, I should have grabbed a jug of water because as you talk, it goes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's really important. Your protein intake for your the amino acids to my love food. with my water. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yes, 
have it there. Um, you need it a lot. Minimizing alcohol, um, the processed foods, uh, the more you, I once heard from a holistic nutritionist and it always stuck, stuck with me because I'm not a nutritionist, but the, I take bits and pieces and little mm -hmm. nuggets everywhere I go. I pick on those, I pick them up and I do what's right for me. Right. And she said, the more you dilute, say you take skim milk, for example, it has been processed to such a degree that you don't have those nutrients anymore. Whereas if you have whole milk and you have a little bit more of that fat content, right. it's actually for you right. because it's less processed. Right. Now I don't drink milk anymore except for oat milk or soya milk or, and soya right. has a bad rap too. You, you, soya is actually not that bad for you. It's the GMO stuff. It's the genetically altered components. Right. Of soy that's the problem. And yeah. like, the only supplements that I ever promote through my ageless survival is Shackley because it goes beyond organic and they, everything's non-GMO. They've always grown their soy. They have soy protein. I don't use that anymore. I use their plant-based protein, but, um, uh, and I swear to goodness because I, they only have the soy protein, so soy protein forever in a day. And I started on the Shackley protein in 1978. I had no menopausal symptoms. Like literally, I think I might've had three hot flashes in my life. And I just absolutely think it was because of that. But today, if you're not careful of your source, you got yeah. a problem, right? Yes. But it's like anything with, with the GMOs, right? I yeah. mean, it's a problem. I mean, you're, we don't know what that stuff is doing in our system. I mean, we could do a whole program on plastics and the microscopic components that are now in everything in we ingest. It's and like correct. freaky, right? Yeah. Or to even eat sushi. <laughs> Just of the microplastics and the mercuries. And, you know, so you sort of think, well, what is safe? And so buying local, I think, is really important. And, um, okay. and non pesticide and sprayed. Yeah. -pesticide. A lot of people can't certify organic. Um, and I mean, you still have to watch your certified organics. Like, really, are they certified? Do you know? Are they, are they looking at it? But when you're buying local and you know that it's not sprayed, like they're doing their very best, it's as close as they can possibly get. But, you know, there could be environmental, like here in Victoria, like where I live, because um, you're in Nova Scotia, which is like heavenly days. And I just love this. It's like we're just sitting together here. Um, <laughs> we have tons of farms here. Total opposite. Besides. I know we're at opposite ends of the continent, uh, not the continent, but the country, but it's perfect. But here, it's a big farm belt where I am out here. And we've got a, a farm called Mitchell's Farm. hundred It's over 150 years old. They do everything. Like they grow their own meat, their eggs, all the vegetables. Everything is self-sustainable. Now, they can't say it's completely certified organic because we've got the airport. Right. But they don't spray. They use like all environmentally conscious everything so it is as close to the real you know, McCoy. the yeah, real yeah. mccoy as you can possibly get like it's incredible okay. what and you, you just feel get. so much better eating like that oh, oh. yeah we, we have the farmers markets here and through the summer months it's lovely in order to keep your telomeres at a healthy length you have to take out all the poisons that means switching out the poisons in your house switching out the poisons in your food making sure that you're looking at those. You don't need it certified. Organic, of course, is wonderful, like great. But as long as you know that the source is not sprayed and it's as close as possible, you're doing okay. Yes, right? you can. Because, and then there's the fitness component, right? Oh, the fitness component is huge. And what's really great about what you've been building in our catalog and what not only what you do with, with, with me with Age of Thrival, but in your own business is that, um, as I've said to you, with the research that Dr. Blackburn and Elizabeth Apple did, they won the Nobel Prize for the telomeres. It's the um, HIT, it's the high impact interval training. High That's intensity what, interval training. Exact. That is what keeps your telomeres healthy. Weight yes. resistance is important. Um, yes. those long warrior stuff, that's not good for you. That, I mean, if you oh, want to no. do it, that's fantastic. But what you've created is exactly what people need in order to keep their telomeres 
at a healthy length and or reverse it so they can get those telomeres back in or and that's what creates that quality longer life within your body is keeping those telomeres where we need them right so well, you're basically changing your genetic um what what you've been given genetically and what you've maybe done as damage earlier on in your yes. life so yes you know, and i always tell my clients too is that if you're working out and something hurts don't do it yeah <laughs> There are so many options out there. You don't have to do high impact. There's no. also low impact, high yeah. intensity. Yeah, and we've exactly. done some of that. And I always try to show, you know, the alternative to a high intensity jumping yeah. around. Maybe yeah. you just move more of your body or more of your arms to get yeah. that high intensity. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to use the jarring of, of a high impact. It doesn't no. mean high impact. It means high intensity intervals. Exactly. So your heart rate up to a certain level. So yes. that's why I have always believed that indoor cycling is one of those things that is low intensity or low impact, but the high intensity is there. It's as high as you want to take it. It, um, it, it gets your heart pumping. The class you know. that I took with you. Yes, remember the class? Yes, 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 yes. Best class ever. And I'm not a cycler and I love that class with you. Like 20 minutes, I, 20 I minutes, have, 20 minutes. It, yeah, but I know, but look what we did. There's yes. the cycling. We did the, the, well, the, and abs, the weight resistance. Yeah. Like that was an incredible class. I love that class. Yeah. I have a thing about cycling because I'm an idiot when you see me on a bike. I don't know why, but your class, I'm like, I can do this. This is incredible. Right. So I, you know what I want to go back to remember what we were talking about before we put the recording on is we talked about the importance of managing your fitness so when you're younger, so that when you're moving into your, you know, late 40s, 50s, 60s, now I'm 67, you know, I'm dealing with what I'm dealing with now, but I'll be up and bad. It's, it's, it's like, so do you want to go into that? Because I think that's really important for people to understand because people just take it for granted that everything's yeah. just going to keep working. Uh, mm -mm. The hero, <laughs> the, 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 um, you know, I, I and uh, I'll use my husband as an example. He he was never really a competitive athlete. He could have been, but he worked so hard on the mountain skiing um, most of his life. And then he'd get off work and he'd go for a run and then he'd go for a cycle. And then on the weekends, he'd be on his motorcycle. So all those things are hip compression exercises. Right. And now at the young age of you know, 62, he needs double hip. So to those younger people out there, cross training is super important. And he always stretched. So people would say, well, you should have stretched more, but it's not about that. It is oh. how much pressure and impact you're putting on those joints, doing yeah. the same thing over and over and over. So cross training um, working that core, working the complementary muscle groups yeah. is vital to longevity. Yeah, and, it is. Um, you know, you, you may have be predisposed to osteoarthritis, but my mother had um, osteoarthritis and I only have it in my foot. Why? Because I ran and ran and ran and stress fractured and kept doing it. And it's just it's not a feasible way to do things. Find something else yeah, that you exactly. enjoy as much. Right. Yeah. And put a strategy together, like creating yeah. the strategy. That's so it. let me know what you think would be a good base strategy for someone. So what we want to do, because we're we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up here shortly, but what I like what I want you to do is for someone who's watching. Where do they start? What's a really good overall strategy for the best quality of life moving forward? Oh, well, that's a long answer, but I'll give you the quick, um, the quick. Give me the short version. Uh, the, the Coles Notes version. Um, the Coles Notes version, yeah. yeah. So you want to make sure you have an exercise program that is well-rounded. And um, there's so much out there with regards to figuring out an exercise program things that you love to do, not that your parents pushed you into when you were little, perhaps you're burnt out of it, just something that you love to do. 
and make it a well-rounded exercise program. So and make sure there's weight training and that there is core training and there, that you've got mobility and flexibility to move into all the different planes so that right. you're not in one plane. Is That's walking what, better than running? Mm, <sighs> interesting, right? It, that is interesting. Um, I think that too much of anything is not a good thing. And if it hurts, don't do it. Right. So there are some people that are, are magnificent runners for a long time. There are, there are people that start running in their 50s and run till they're 80 and they're fine. Right. I think it, you have right. to look at your own body, your own makeup. Okay. Um, and when you get into your 40s, make sure you get a bone density test done. They're generally free. So you know where you're at with your bone density. Yeah, that's important. Um, super important. And then make sure you get enough protein. Um, watch your food. Um, your community is so important as well. As we, we didn't age. really touch on that, which we can touch on briefly now. Is so much. <laughs> Connectivity, I know. Well, I like I call we've got the nine pillars, which is it's exactly it's sleep, it's gratitude. I mean, it's appreciation, positive attitude, positive mental attitude, taking those negatives, you know, dealing with them, releasing and returning yourself to that positivity. But the connectivity, it's a connectivity in relationship, but also the connectivity with earth, with the planet, with nature enjoying yeah. that nature Outdoor. because that's where we we bring the peace and if people understood uh grounding like you get your bare feet into the soil literally the earth uh the human resonance and everything will just come up and make a huge difference in your overall oh. being well i take a walk every single day in my bare feet on the beach yeah weather permitting um I mean, when there's no snow cold, oh, and then there's snow I'm not in the sand on the beach but I will tell you it is um such a healing thing to be to to have that connectivity with the earth and then when I'm in BC which I really miss here is the mountains and the forests right big huge trees that just let off all that great <sighs> you know there's something to be said for hugging trees. I love hugging trees. <laughs> and, and and because I'm, you know, I'm in the wheelchair right now, I'll be out of here one of these days, is I can't get out the same way. And so for me, I brought in the crystals because I get to bring in the earth into me and I work with them because it's that replacement of coming out of Mother Earth for me, right? Which is, right. you know, a whole show in itself. Um, yeah. but it's no, it's fascinating. So yeah, so that's good. It's just like making sure you're getting, you know, and the bottom line is, is the research out of, out of uh, the telomere effect. And the telomere effect is a really good book for people to read is you need seven hours of sleep to assure that those telomeres stay strong. Right. And then there's, you know, your water input, your nutrition, your exercise program, the gratitude, and taking the poisons out of your life, like really switching out poisons Do you know, go organic, go uh, non-sprayed. Um, and then it's like you say, the connectivity and mother earth and, and, and mental health and really, really mental health is huge. Right. Huge and meditation, meditation is, is part of that. And breath of I, life. Yeah. I call it the breath of life, that breathing, the polyvagal um, theory, um, getting your vagus nerve activated. If you can keep that man, you can keep peaceful, right? Yes. No matter what's going on. Yeah. I mean, because we know it's a tough one, isn't it? Well, it is. It is. It's well, because it's one, but if we can access that and and work on that for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. It's amazing. So, all right. Well, we we'll, we will wrap this up. I just love you. You know that what you're doing is incredible. You are spectacularly gorgeous all the time, you're and. Such sweetheart thank you I just really appreciate what you're bringing um and working together with me to bring these programs especially the fitness because we keep it short and sweet and it does the job and people don't have to be out there you know doing hours like what oh. you bring to the table makes all the difference in the world and I'm well, just so grateful you. for you 
Well, and I'm grateful for you having me. I mean, this has been over two years now. Uh, it's going on three, is it going on three? I don't know. No time goes by. I know it's crazy. It's by. So I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity to do this all the time. And I'd love, you know, if people want to see different things, more of one thing, low impact, high impact. Yeah. I yeah. love it. So bring favorite. it to the table tell us what you want get a hold of Jacqueline it's there and she's going to create it she's got a catalog of amazing fitness opportunities and a wealth of knowledge that you can tap into so I appreciate it I love you you enjoy thank and I'll be talking you. to you soon and okay. yeah, take care okay. love you a lot thank you okay oh, you too. bye bye